So we're going to look at how to uh, enter a Zoom meeting using your iPad. Now, first and foremost, it's good to have iPad in the landscape format. That's in this uh, format and often propped up on something so that you can be hands free. And then we're going to go to an email which we've been sent to help us access the meeting. So let's say you've been sent a meeting uh, request in an email with a long blue line uh, which is a link or a meeting ID number. First of all we're going to do it by clicking on the blue line and see what happens. If you click on that it opens a uh, web page where an error message will always come up. Don't worry about that just press OK that's because it can't find the software and you'll see it says for first time user please download Zoom app from App Store. So if you click on the App Store word, up will come what's called the App Store and it has the app that you need, the Zoom, where it says Get. So we'll press Get. And then it will ask you to sign in if you're not already signed in. I'm just going to sign in now. Once you're signed in, it will come up with a message saying, do you want to install? And the answer is yes, I want to install the Zoom onto my iPad. And at this point, can you see there's a circle going round and round? It will ask uh, if you want um, a password for other purchases. And I'm going to say always require. That just means that nobody can buy anything without my, um, my permission. But this app is free. And as you can see, it's starting to download. There's a little circle there with the blue line going round, which is showing you how far it's got to go with the download. We're halfway now. Uh, when it gets to about nine o'clock, we're three quarters of the way and uh, we'll soon be there. Now, differing Internet speeds take different lengths of time. Now we're going to press open. And that will open Zoom onto your iPad. Now it's now saying that you can join a meeting, sign up or sign in. But actually the easiest thing to do is to go back to the email that you were sent and click on that blue line again. That's got all the information it needs to help you sign in. Now it is going to ask you what you would like to call yourself in the in the meeting and that is the name that will appear on the screen uh, by your face or indeed if your camera is not working it will be the name that people can see you by. So I'm going to leave it as, as Jane's iPad. You could put your full name or a nickname or no name at all and then press continue. Now it's going to ask you some questions. Would you like it to use the camera? Well yes because I would like people to be able to see me. There we go, that's my camera and my face. I'm recording myself, as you know. I do want to join with the video so that people can see me. And now it's asking if I would like access to the microphone. And the answer to that is yes, I do want them to access my microphone. Would you like Zoom to send notifications? Yes, I will. And now would I like others to hear my audio? And that needs to be with the internet. There's Margrethe waiting for us. Hi, Margrethe. Thank you. Um, it's good to see you. I'm just going to show people how that they can see us both. Now, if you tap the screen at the top there, there are two instructions. One is changing the direction of the camera and the other is switching to gallery view. And if you press that button, you'll be able to see the two of us in the meeting. If you press the screen in the black area, all sorts of instructions come up the top. One is the mute button, which allows you, I'm just going to press the black to turn your sound off or to turn it back on or to turn your video off. And that's what people will see instead or to turn it back on. Thanks, Margaret. Let's get on okay. with that chat. Thank you.